Hey guys, I'm Paradise One. Today I'm going to be reviewing a VOD sent to me by a viewer. They were playing Survival Hunter Dis Priest at about 2250 MMR. I'm going to show the game with some commentary and explain things that were done well and some things that could be improved upon. With that, let's get started. First, I'll take a look at your talent selections. Overall, these talents aren't too bad for fighting a Holy Pally Warrior. The only suggestion that I have is due to the Paladin's Hand of Freedom and Warrior's Bladestorm, you probably won't get much value out of your Steel Trap's root effect. Therefore, Bloodseeker might be another good choice for the extra damage. As far as your trinkets go, I would not recommend using Maledict into this comp. Maledict is strong in a classes that have a lot of self-healing or where the healing is done over time. Since warriors have very little self-healing, and the paladin doesn't have much healing on the warrior while he's in CC, you would not get much value out of Maledict. Looking at the trinkets you had, I would recommend either using the Vita trinket or the badge depending on how high its item level is. In this opener, you quickly go for a stun and instantly trap out. This is not optimal I would say for a few reasons. First, I generally like to get some damage rolling before I start a CC chain. Second, trapping immediately out of the stun is a very inefficient use of your CC. The trap lands while the stun has 3 or more seconds remaining. If you wait closer until the stun is about to end and then trap, you will get all those extra seconds as more CC. And because of this, the fact that the paladin trinketed it all is quite lucky to say the least. I would also say your trinket on the Stormbolt is unoptimal. The way I like to think about it, trinkets should only be used if you will definitely kill if you use it, you will definitely die if you don't use it, or your partner will definitely die if you don't use it. Since the game is barely started, I would say this is kind of a waste of using your trinket. Harpooning to a paladin to bait cooldowns is something that I do recommend, and here the paladin did end up getting his sack baited. However, you still had trap on cooldown for 10 seconds. If the enemy paladin were tracking that and didn't waste sack, you would have essentially wasted your harpoon. This use of knock trap is not very effective. I would say the best use of your knock in this matchup is to try to peel the warrior off you or off your healer, followed by a harpoon root to negate the charge. This use of your knock did not really accomplish anything. This trap here got war banner. It happens to the best of us, but it's important to be mindful of whether the warrior has it available as to prevent this from possibly happening. This CC that is done here is what I would try to do every setup. Stun or Stun Trap Healer followed by a Fear every time Trap is up. This was a good example of that. This here is something I've seen a little bit in this video. The space you're putting between yourself and your target. I know it can be scary to potentially get cleaved by melee, but by standing at range you are really just reducing your damage output for no real reason. It's important to know when you don't want to be cleaved, but you really need to be in there to get more damage out. Right here would have been a good time to use your knock. Your priest is in a stun, you have knock, and you have harpoon available. You can knock the warrior off and harpoon root them away to give your priest some space.
Overall, this game really wasn't that bad. The main things I would suggest working on with your partner is setting up consistent CC off cooldown to create the most pressure. You really need to get the stun trap fear down as consistently as you can, as this will be what you need to do to secure a kill. I would also recommend trying to be in more and not playing from range so much when you don't need to. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to give some insight on some things that can be improved upon in your matches. If anyone has any feedback regarding this video, please let me know in the comments. I am also looking for more VODs to review. Read the description for more information. Thank you for watching and have a great day.